Hi, this is Stephen from Owner Disso, and in this video we're going to do a gaming comparison um, on the Surface Book. Um, the reason for this is that uh, I've covered three games, um, there's the Grand Theft Auto 5, um, Rocket League and uh, Overwatch, just in balance mode, um, but we haven't uh, shown what it's like being overclocked. Um, so I'm going to also include in this Bioshock 2 so I'm going to have the GPU overclocked and the uh, CPU on high performance mode and if you haven't seen my uh, video on how to do that please click the link above so without further ado uh, let's take a look at it now first up is Bioshock 2 so image quality used is high details at uh, 1920 1080p I also disabled V-Sync. That's a pile of junk! You broke it! Didn't you, Edna? Everything you touch turns to shit! <laughs> So the average uh, frames per second for Bioshock 2 um, for balanced was 73 FPS. For the high performance profile was also 73. Um, but look at the uh, the high performance profile and overclock GPU 87, which represents a 19% increase. Can't complain at that. Next we have Grand Theft Auto 5. So another win for the uh, high performance mode and overclocking with 32 frames per second. Second is the uh, high performance with no overclock at 30 frames per second. And last is the balance profile. So overclocking high performance gives a 28% increase. Not bad. Our third game is Overwatch. So let's look at the settings I use on Overwatch. So here we're using uh, 720p, low quality settings. Group up. Stop the pain. So once again, the high performance and uh, overclocked ruled the roost with uh, Overwatch at 35 frames per second. Second was the high performance, no overclock at 32 and balance profile at 31, giving a uh, percentage increase of uh, 13%. Last up is Rocket League. So let's take a look at the settings used. We're using 1680 by 1050 uh, with uh, no anti-aliasing. We've got high quality. Uh, render detail is quality, texture and world details are at quality, high quality shaders, dynamic shadows and weather effects. And uh, you'll also uh, V-Sync is turned off. So finally for Rocket League, uh, the high performance uh, overclock setting produced 75 frames a second, high performance no overclock 63 and the balance profile 60. So it pays dividends to uh, overclock and use the high performance, a 25% increase over the balance profile. Can't complain. So is it worthwhile overclocking your GPU? 
I say hell yes. It gives an on average 21% increase in performance over the balanced profile no overclock. Using the high performance uh, profile no overclock nets a, a lower 6% but still worth doing. Well, I hope you found my uh, video useful and uh, will allow you to uh, get some extra frames per second on your Surface Book. So uh, if you found it useful, please uh, give me a like and uh, subscribe if you feel so inclined. Thanks again for watching.